This is an NBC News special report. Here is Brian Williams. And good day from New York. We'll soon be uh, switching to live pictures from Santa Maria, California. Michael Jackson is apparently a few miles and a few moments away from hearing his fate. The jury verdict is to be read when he arrives at the courthouse there. His motorcade, as you see from this helicopter shot live, left his so-called Neverland Ranch uh, within the past 30 minutes and is winding its way to the courthouse. You see under police motorcycle escort, security has been and will be heightened around Michael Jackson and his motorcade, especially uh, if uh, a guilty verdict comes down. Uh, the fans have been gathering outside the courthouse. A huge group of them has come every day uh, during this trial. It's the end of 14 weeks of testimony, seven calendar days of deliberation, though if you add the time all up, it is more like three full working days of deliberation. Uh, the charge in chief here is that the pop star molested a 13-year-old cancer survivor. We want to switch to NBC News chief legal correspondent Dan Abrams, who has been covering all of this and Dan, perhaps it would be helpful to walk us through what we can expect. What are the mechanics of what will go on uh, after he arrives? And we see that now familiar arrival scene going through security and what have you. Well, Michael Jackson is going to be ushered into that courthouse by his lawyer, who is now waiting in front of the courthouse for Jackson to arrive. Uh, Jackson and a number of his family members uh, will then be seated inside the courtroom. Michael Jackson up at the defendant's table uh, with his lawyers, uh, his family members about, I'd say, five yards behind them, sitting in the first row uh, of the audience. The prosecutors sitting at a table on the other side uh, of the courtroom, a bit closer to the jurors. Expect uh, that the judge will then ask the jurors, uh, have you reached a verdict? Uh, they will say yes and then expect to hear the court clerk uh, read the verdict. You see there Michael Jackson's uh, team arriving uh, here at the courthouse. Expect to hear cheers at any moment uh, from the many fans who are here. The first charge that they will consider is conspiracy to commit child abduction. Uh, the jury will then say guilty or not guilty. Um, then, after the, if they do find him guilty of the conspiracy, they will then decide do they find him guilty of conspiring to abduct a child, false imprisonment, extortion? From there, the four charges against Michael Jackson of molesting a child, commission of a lewd act upon a child is exactly what it's called. If he is found guilty of any of those four, and the jurors find, here you see Michael Jackson, is about to walk out of the, his... Uh, his SUV, and, and Brian, as I, I'm going to stop going through the charges for just a moment to just remind the viewers that this could be the last time that Michael Jackson is a free man for a long time. Uh, if Michael Jackson is convicted of one of the serious charges, of one of the felonies against him, uh, he will likely be taken into custody immediately. So there is Michael Jackson arriving. Those, there are those four counts of committing a lewd act upon a child. Those are effectively the child molestation counts. Then you've got one count of attempting to commit a lewd act upon a child, and then four counts of serving alcohol to a child with the intent to molest. All of those are felonies. Now, these jurors could decide we don't believe that there's enough evidence to, be, to believe Michael Jackson molested a child, but we do believe that Michael Jackson served alcohol to a child. If that were the case, they could convict him of a misdemeanor. That would mean they've said not guilty, not guilty, not guilty. Up to the point of count seven, if they convicted him of the misdemeanors, Jackson would likely get a fine, although it's possible he could serve some time. It seems unlikely. So if that were the case, that would be a big victory for Michael Jackson. You see Jermaine Jackson, his brother arriving. Uh, there is Janet Jackson. Uh, and other family members. There are not enough seats inside that courtroom for the entirety of the Jackson family. So they had to pick and choose which ones would make it inside the courtroom as we prepare to hear the verdict. Brian? Dan Abrams, thanks. Uh, Tom Mesereau is attorney. Members of the defense team now go through the metal detectors, the now familiar scene. If you've seen any television uh, news at all over the past uh, several months, then you uh, are acutely aware of, uh, of this venue. 
Uh, you heard the crowds outside uh, to the extent that Michael Jackson's life has been a spectacle over the past several years. Uh, this trial, and we should hasten to add, there are over 2,000 accredited media that uh, you can combine the O.J. Simpson trial with the Scott Peterson trial. This is a greater number of accredited media uh, on hand to cover this, the crowds that have been showing up every day, and you saw from the aerial shot what we have here is really uh, turned into a, a California spectacle with uh, people running to the motorcade route across traffic, people holding each other on top of their shoulders to get a glimpse of the parade of black SUVs making their way to the courthouse. Uh, Michael Jackson's uh, health has been uh, all over the gamut since the start of this trial. Uh, he has received hospital treatment uh, uh, more than once. Um, all kinds of uh, uh, rumors abound as we look at uh, uh, Catherine Jackson and uh, Michael Jackson's father in the foreground getting wanted for uh, uh, metal objects, a uh, uh, familiar face in the latter stages of this legal proceeding. Uh, and uh, we should uh, catch up with uh, Susan Filan, uh, former state prosecutor and criminal defense attorney. Uh, Susan, there were reports that the first order of business in court would be a number of uh, uh, procedural measures, uh, perhaps uh, pending appeals and pending jury business before we get right into the reading of the, uh, uh, of the verdict. What is your understanding, that it will be verdict first? My understanding is it will go to verdict first. And after the verdict, if the jury is polled and it seems that there is some kind of a colorable claim that lawyers can make about juror misconduct, perhaps then the court would have to start making some kind of inquiry. But my understanding is we are going to verdict once in that courtroom. As you see, Michael Jackson now uh, go through the uh, metal check. He'll be uh, entering the courtroom. Uh, the judge, it's up to the judge to switch on the uh, uh, microphone uh, sound system that allows the rest of the world in on uh, what's going on inside uh, this uh, uh, most heavily covered uh, trial in recent time. Uh, so many of the cable networks devoting uh, uh, so many hours of, of coverage to every twist and turn in the testimony, every piece of evidence, every witness. Our uh, microphone's still picking up uh, the crowd, the fans outside, uh, and for whatever this trial has said about culture in the United States, uh, we hasten to add uh, there are so many in so many nations uh, around the world following this, uh, so many of the accredited media uh, from other nations uh, uh, sending their representatives uh, to Santa Maria, California. It is said there in the media village that the uh, activity goes all night with the, uh, the deadlines in various time zones around the world. Uh, we should check in with uh, Jim Thomas, former Santa Barbara County Sheriff, uh, was around the first time for the first trial. And uh, Jim, I heard you earlier talking about a tightening in security, especially uh, with the, if the outcome is a guilty verdict. Yes, Brian. I think one of the things, in fact, I was talking to a person who's close to the Jackson family who said that their concern with the verdict is that if there's a guilty verdict, that some of these fans are so devoted to him that they're concerned for their personal safety as well as the action that they may try and take against the media. As the media walked in today to go into the courthouse, there was chanting of liar, liar. They don't like the media and don't feel that Michael Jackson has been treated fairly. So if there's a guilty verdict, it's going to be pandemonium. If there's an innocent verdict, there's going to be pandemonium, but probably no violence. Uh, as we mentioned, uh, 60 days worth of uh, testimony. Prosecution case went uh, 45 days. Verdict, uh, the jury rather, eight women four men. Uh, eight of them have uh, families, uh, have children. Uh, four uh, are not parents. Uh, eight of them over 40 years old. Uh, not a single African-American on the jury, though one uh, is an alternate. Uh, and again, all of these pictures, uh, the now familiar camera angles of the uh, anteroom, the lobby right outside the uh, courtroom where you see the local time uh, posted as 1.52 Pacific time. Uh, uh, these are a uh, what's called a switched pool feed. All the camera, all the pictures are available to all subscribing uh, television networks.